Hey guys, welcome uh, to this video. This is gonna walk through a website that I don't know if I'll be able to run it in class because there's some stipulations. So for the most part is I'm gonna walk through this application a little bit, show you what it does. It does some really cool stuff. We'll focus on different areas. You guys can play around with it. And then after I show this tutorial, this will be kind of like our, um, our uh, lecture tonight. And then we'll actually in class we will go through the installation, and this is a fun installation, um, at the least. So let's kind of get started. So this is our homepage. It's called um, Damn Vulnerable Web Application, and that's done on purpose. Uh, I'm running this on a Windows 10 box, uh, so a lot of stuff in here is vulnerable on purpose for us to learn, you know, the techniques of hacking and vulnerability and so forth and etc. So this is a a good learning tool for us to get started with. All right, so let's go around here and find something. So let's find install, file upload. So we click on file upload and we have some different options here. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can upload a file. Um, let me find something. It'd be cool if I can find a pic of something. I have no photos on here. I gotta have a photo. All right, screenshot, nope. Wow. I got no photos. All right, so let me go download a photo. Yeah, I don't know the last time I used Internet Explorer. Let's go to Yahoo, see what's trending. Don't enable. All right, so let's do this. Game of Thrones is a good one to download. All right, so let's right click on these guys. These are cool looking guys here. Uh, yes, I want to save it. Come on. Save as. There we go. We'll just call it uh, a Game of Thrones, a GOT. GOT. And we know it's like a JPEG or something. All right, so let's exit out of there. Today. All right. So now we know it's in our downloads folder. Let's go to downloads. GOT, why is that? look like that so let's make it a JPEG hopefully that actually upload something anyway so hit upload um, your image was not uploaded because it's not a JPEG I figure it was something silly all right stupid Internet Explorer let's go here uh, google.com I'll do Luke Perry since he's popular right now um, poor guy. Let's see here. I download Luke's pick. Save image. Luke Perry. At least we know this one should work, hypothetically. So now let's go to choose file again. And Luke Perry. And upload. Alright, what is not working here? Your up your image is not uploadable. All right, so what is going on here? Maybe our site's not working. Let's let's do file upload again. Choose a file. Come on, Luke, and upload. All right, your image was not uploaded. We can only accept JPEG or PNG files. Hmm, is that a JPEG file? thought it was a JPEG file. It is a JPEG file. I don't know why. And so was the other one. This was a JPEG too. Let's 
should that would be stupid huh all right well anyways if we did that then we'd be able to go to the website and look at that so we're having some issues there um i don't know that answer i'll have to play around with that one but we'll see if you guys can do it all right so what i'm getting at here is i'm not sure why the file is not uploading but that's not really important um so normally it should upload perfectly fine um you know let's just see if i can find another file that's a jpeg and i'll show you what i'm trying to accomplish here um no that's an mp4 file let's see if it lets me upload this screenshot it's a png so maybe that'll work all right so the png worked fine there must have been an issue anyways click on that right there um it's so weird i just entered that in um so anyways it pulled up dylan mckay that's so weird um so it pulled that up and it allowed me to upload the image so you see where the image is at so what i was trying to do is here is let's say that we have a file and i don't have it on me it's a php file right so let's pretend we have a php file okay so let's uh do this here let's um open up notepad and let's see it's been a while since i did this so give me a second here all right so let's paste it all right so we're going to pretend this is a file that we have in here we have some bad code in here that we want to basically take over that website and do something to it that you know that we want to um, make it vulnerable we want to mess around with it so i'll call it um shell.php and php is just a programming language save it so now let's see if it lets us upload it maybe um, downloads shell.php upload um now see here's the thing it didn't allow us to upload it it should have allowed us to upload so we might have to make some changes so what i'm kind of getting at here is we're we're taking a php file and we're uploading it because this website allows us to upload files now what we're doing is think about this we're taking this php file and we're loading it on someone's server and let's say this php file is going to do some bad stuff that we want it to do well for them allowing us to do it now we can pretty much execute it by you know calling it and kicking it off so what by getting kicked off we call it and boom it guess what it runs so what we're trying to accomplish here is we're trying to create, create a backdoor um so what we do is we put this shell php in there we give it a username and password and what happens is it uploads it to their file system so let's say it's a unix system for example and we'll be able to go in through putty call, we'll be able to just like go through putty um let me pull up I don't know if I have putty on here or not. Yeah. Um, well, I can't actually connect. So let's do this, for example. So I give you an example of what we would do. So in putty, would come in here. Um, we would do um, our connection. So we do HTTP colon um, the IP address. In this case, it's local host 1234. And then we do DB WA. And then we do whatever it's called. It's called hackable um, uploads, and then shell dot php. And then what we do is we would pass our password in. So let's say our password is one two three four five six seven eight. We pass that in. Then what would happen is we would have access, and we could type in Unix commands. So we could type come in here and type in uh, uh, list for list all items. Um, so what we've did here is we created a backdoor into the file system allow us to have have access to the file system and that could go any that could go a lot of different ways so once we get the upload working i want you guys to try that we will have to download and use another tool now this will work perfectly fine if you are using um, if you're doing this on Linux, but you could do this on, 
on Windows, you could come in here because I have this installed on Windows. I could come in here on PowerShell. Oops, uh, show. Where's it at? All right, now I'm lying to myself. Power Shell, here it is. So I could come in here and do these same commands. Um, but we need another uh, uh, tool called Weebly installed that allows us to do it. So we we type in Weebly and then we put in um, our address. Now it won't work because we don't have Weebly installed. Um, DBWA. Depending off of that in there, I'm going to try to connect to it. Yeah, okay, so try to connect. But this is what would happen. It would connect to the file system, then we would have access to it. So hopefully that makes some sense. So this um, video was basically to talk about HTTP requests, get and post. Get means get it, post means post it, and make some backdoor changes. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.